Howdy everyone, Podger here with an Age of Magic video, and in today's video we are doing the Champion Spotlight for Mizuhiko. I am probably going to butcher this name a whole bunch in this video, so... Uh, unlucky, I'm just going to call him Mizu. Uh, so this is Mizu, the elf caster. The elves are coming to the game! Finally! I'm sure many people are excited for this. This guy looks amazing, he's floating, awesome, he's got a, one of those fans. He's got it all. What more would you want in life? He's living the dream. So, as usual, we'll go over his stats, so you guys can have a look at it, compare it to the database, which is in the description below. We'll go over his abilities, then we'll have a, a bit of fun with him in a battle, and then you guys can decide whether or not you want this floating elf or not. So, starting out, he comes in at 1.6 million health, which is a bit on the low side. Heroes these days come out with like 1.8 to... 2.1-ish about. So he's a very squishy champion. I guess it makes sense he's a caster. Uh, speed, pretty decent. 236. Armor, 15k. Uh, magic damage resistance, uh, 31k. Met basic magic damage, 164. Uh, magical critical hit chance, 24. And magical critical damage is 264k. So, yeah, a bit squishy. Uh, good speed. Damage, not too bad. We'll go over his actual stats as well. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. I'm just going to go through it slowly. That way you guys can pause it and have a look at anything you need to and then compare it in the database if you want or to other heroes within the game. Up to you. All on you guys. There you go. There are his in-depth stats for you. Uh, magic dodge. Physical dodge is zero. Interesting. Uh, and magic dodge is 16. So that might mean something to someone. So yeah, those are his stats. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Now we'll go over his abilities, see what this uh, this little blue boy can do, and then we'll jump into the fight. Okay, let's look at his abilities, his bread and butter. What does this boy do? Icicle Strike deals undodgeable damage to an enemy and removes any chance of dodging the next attack. Has a 20% chance per elf in the party to reduce the target speed by 20% for two turns. So, the... Uh the speed thing is kind of important. Pay attention to that. Let's move on to his first special, Terrifying Illusion. Deals undodgeable damage to all enemies and reduces the target damage output by 20% for two turns. Has a 6% chance per elf in the party to increase the special ability timer of any attack target by one turn per dot effect already on them. So dots and sewing are important. Dots, 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 dots. Wonderful. I'm not going to complain about dots. I really wish dots were more more of a thing in the game, to be honest. Alright, Water Shield is his second special ability. Creates a shield with 12% of the target's max HP for all elves in the party and for the ally with the lowest HP. The text time, uh, the next time all allies will heal, or heal will be 40% more effective. So I'm thinking Lucky and Azariel. Pains in the ass is wonderful. All elves in the party will cause 50% more damage with their next two critical hits, and other allies will do so for one critical hit. So, um, yeah, fair enough. Good, good, good. And now his passive. Water Mage. Every attack by an elf ally on an opponent has a 100% chance to apply dots for two turns, to apply a dot for two turns. And allies from other factions get half that chance to do the same. If the enemy takes dot damage during their turn, then Mizzy, Mizu has a 25% chance to reduce his ability time by one turn. Uh, so that's for all abilities. When an elf in the party makes a critical hit, the target is slowed by two uh, by 20% for two turns. And if the target has already been slowed, then they will miss their next turn and lose all initiative. So if they're already slowed, which he can do with his basic ability, then they will miss their next turn and their initiative will get set to zero. Um, what am I taking from this already? I am taking, sorry, I'm taking from this Tanita. I know people are probably laughing because I've even mentioned Tanita. The um, guy, where is it? I can't get him on the screen. My mouse. He's up in the sexiest hero list at the top there. Um, his sh abilities hit multiple times. Each strike applies a dot. If you get two critical hits in as well, you're going to be putting them to sleep and resetting their initiative. Very powerful. Tanita might be useful. Who knows? Overall, pretty interesting kit. Be more interesting to see what he can achieve with a full elf team. Unfortunately, with him, we only have three elves in the game. We do not include Azariel. She is a dark elf. Does not count. So, we will throw him into battle, see what he can do. We're just going to be versing a fun team, um, just to see 
how everything works. So let's jump into that battle. And the theme of today's uh, team we are versing are big boys, big fatties. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are. So what are we going to do? First of all, we're going to apply the anti heal. Well, we don't need to apply the anti heal, but we don't. We also don't have any rogues on the team, so I'm not going to hide cage. So we will hit. Uh, let's hit Hargrim. Let's get rid of uh, the anti heal. Okay, so what do we want to do first? We do not really want to cast terrifying illusion because we would prefer for dots to be on the enemy team. So what we are going to do is water shield, give ourselves a bit of a shield, and. Um, Alright, so I went on Ilios. I was thinking, mate, why didn't it give it to Azariel? Makes sense. Okay. So, now, let's slow down. Uh, let's just see what this does. So, we are going to attack. Who do we want to attack? Let's go Hargrim. Let's get rid of him. We are going to use our Blood Rose. Uh, seven strikes. Sh should put seven dots on him. Of course, if he dodges. So, let's have a look. Bang, 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 bang. Eight dots. He's asleep because we've got two critical strikes in there. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. So he's got eight dots on him now. So we're just going to use our AoE on Ilios. We go back to full speed. Um, let's just heal because we can. There we go. It's weird when you see a healer like Azariel almost do more damage than a Tanita. All right, we're just going to auto attack. Okay, we're going to slow this down to see the visual effect of this ability. So we have a chance per elf ally. Uh, deals undodgeable damage to all enemies and reduces the target's damage output by 20%. Has a 6% chance to increase the special cooldown. So let's see if we get any cooldown increases. So here we go. Not bad, not bad. Looks cool. Oh, look at the black smoke that comes off them. So did we increase their cooldowns? No. Can we click on you? No. So we didn't apply it. Which is unfortunate. Look at all those dots, though. All right, wonderful. And now we have our triple strike. So who do we want to use it on? Oh, Troda has... There we go, critical strikes. <laughs> He's asleep as well. Okay, let's go back up to full speed. Increase our initiative a tiny bit. And just auto attack from here. And we trigger... Because we have Tanita as well, we get the healing mark on the enemy. Which means... Uh, a will lose, it will be poison. So now we have that healer market puts poisons on the enemy as well, which they lose a fair bit of their HP. So the poisons are really coming into effect here. So how much damage are these characters going to take from their poison? We're just going to have to auto attack here. Hargrim heals, which is fine. Uh, just keep auto attacking because that is all we can really do until our blood rose comes back up. Uh, Hargrim is nearly dead. We should really take him out. AoE. And remember, we have a 50% chance to apply poisons with anyone that isn't an elf. So we are going to give ourselves a shield. Finish off him. Move on to Pig Boy. We should be able to finish. Let's go Terrifying Illusion. I just did the AoE. We didn't really have poisons on them. So I feel like maybe you really want to save that ability for when they do have poisons. Because that is when you're going to get the most effect out of it. And we are able to finish off the battle here. Um... Blood Rose, seven poisons on him. Eight poisons. Oh, no. Does... That's interesting. Does he not trigger a poison buff himself? Yeah, he's not. He's not triggering a poison... Oh, debuff, sorry, not buff. Interesting. Okay. That's all right. We'll look into that. But there you go. So, very interesting champion. If you can get the second ability to work when they have poisons on them and increase their... So you go up to eight poisons. You could increase a champion's cooldown on their abilities up to eight turns. That's stronger than the trodar um, Velandar combination. So if you get really lucky in a battle, obviously you'd want a full team of elves um, to really get those dots out on the enemy. You're looking at some pretty big cooldowns. You, you could pretty much win the battle. Um, you get a shield as well, pretty good. Has no self-sustain, he is squishy. He may be a priority target in battle. Um, interesting champion. I like him, I think he's pretty cool. What he offers is awesome. I like that he can attack and not worry about dodging. Dodging is just an issue in the game. But we are seeing more champions come out that uh, can ignore dodging. Um, and that's really good against Sakrif as well, because she's just dodge, dodge, dodge. Um, so yeah. Anyway, ladies and gents, that has been the champion spotlight for uh, Mizu. Um, I think he's an awesome-looking champion. 
How we're going to use him in battle, though, well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. So, anyway, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll answer to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.